Kira, are you all right? Honestly, I'm not great. I see. Then it is fortunate I came along. I think so too. This feeling gets worse the closer we get to Elam. Elam is full of surprises. You too sure you'll be okay? What Kira is experiencing is unusual, but there is no cause for worry. Not yet, at least. Besides, we really shouldn't pass up a chance to figure out what's happening with us. When you came back from Elong, Scourge and I both got this weird feeling, like we just uncovered a memory. It's unclear, but familiar. Like a dream. I tried to help Kira and Scourge clarify the details of what they sensed, to bring their feelings into focus. But my guidance could only do so much. We all agreed that further exploration was necessary. Scourge traveled to a place I am unfamiliar with. There are ruins there that he suspects may have a connection to Darth Null. I wish the big guy was here. I can't remember the last time I did something like this without him. It is for the best. Your paths will join again, though you must walk alone for now. My hope is that being in the presence of this fortress on Elon will make sense of the strange feelings you are having. And whatever these feelings are, if they have something to do with Darth Null, then maybe they could help you figure out what Malgus was trying to do. Guess we're about to find out, one way or another. The hand of the Empire's recovery team should have plenty to tell us. Before we discuss anything else, it would be best if Kira and I familiarized ourselves with this place. We'll meet you at the camp after we look around for a bit. I promise we won't break anything. Hello again. I am beyond honored to see your interest in our progress. This has certainly been one of the most intriguing expeditions I've ever participated in, even after all my time in the Reclamation Service. And working with Colonel Gola has been a truly enlightening experience. Sounds like you've learned a lot since you've been here. An apt observation. Believe it or not, this fortress may not have been as isolated as we first believed. Sifting through the wreckage, I have uncovered several artifacts that bear striking similarities to relics discovered on previous archaeological digs, on worlds far from this one. Once the relics here are thoroughly documented, I will conduct a full investigation into these connections. Perhaps you could provide a map that identifies other locations Amalgus targeted. Oh, I shudder to think what other priceless sites he may have ransacked if you hadn't stopped him. This sounds promising. I look forward to hearing more. If you are so inclined, I would encourage you to examine some of the relics for yourself. You'll find them around the camp. Even the uninitiated can feel the power radiating off of them. But I do ask that you use caution when handling them. Do let me know if I can be of any further assistance.
A pleasure to see you again. It's been quite some time since the incident in the Dune Sea. Hey, nice to see you're lending a hand. We've been incredibly fortunate to have Colonel Gola join us. His expertise has been nothing short of invaluable to this team. Thank you, Lord Rivik. Such high praise. Especially considering the results of this mission. What do you mean? I've led many expeditions that were largely successful despite their dangers, but this one is unusual. Our time here has been relatively uneventful, yet we haven't learned much. Every fragment of every artifact found in these ruins has been examined twice over, but we still can't conclusively say why Darth Null built the machine inside this fortress. But with you here, perhaps we'll grow closer to solving this mystery. Anything you and Lord Rivix could tell me about your time here would be helpful. No, I don't believe it. What's happening? That feeling I couldn't explain. I didn't think it would be this. This was from Darth Null's machine? That Malgus destroyed? It was. Darth Null. She was a child of the Emperor. The Corian had other children. Arkans never mentioned them. Not that kind of children. The children of the Emperor were a secret weapon. Kind of like the servants we stopped from killing Master Satil. They've both been around for centuries. The big difference is the servants blindly follow the Emperor. That wasn't the case for the children. The Sith would take people and implant them with a small piece of the old Emperor's power. Then he could control them, make them do whatever he wanted. Most of the children weren't even aware of what had been done to them. Not until it was too late. But the Emperor is gone. If he had any control left over the remaining children, that connection has been severed. This begs the question, why would Malgus take such an interest in a pawn of the former Emperor? A centuries-old pawn at that. Hmm. If only there was someone who could tell us more. It sounds like you already have someone in mind. Indeed, I do. According to the records we obtained, two DIG teams were originally sent to Elon, one from the Republic and one from the Empire. Every member of both teams has been accounted for except one. A young Jedi named Sahar Katin. All of our personnel files indicate that she's the Padawan of the Jedi Historian who led the Republic's expedition team, Master Denom Orr. How many credits do you think the Jedi would pay to get her back? A substantial amount. I'm certain of it. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Sahar Katin must have witnessed what Malgus was doing here. If she's alive, she will tell us all she knows. And you're gonna ask her nicely, right? No Sith interrogation techniques. That is something to decide when we locate the Padawan. But finding leads will take time. Until then, I have a suggestion. Speak to Malgus. You think he'll say anything? Not willingly. But the certainty he's placed in his own schemes can be used against him. If that fails, I'm sure that a little encouragement will compel him to reveal something useful. The path forward grows ever longer, it seems. Rakan? It's me. It's Sahar.
Wait. Rakan. Please. Stop. What is wrong with you? I risked everything to be here and you won't even listen to me. If I hadn't saved you, who knows what these slavers would have... What in blazes are you talking about? I'm not a slave. But... But I thought... You left. You don't know anything. This should have been my fight. My chance at greatness. But you stole it from me. Again. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rakan. For everything. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that, and... And I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I regret it. All the time. I would give anything to go back and do things differently. I know I can never completely make it up to you, but... Please. Can I at least try? You're all I have left. Whatever you need, I can help you. I don't need you. But I do know someone who can use you. Follow me. Keep up and keep quiet. Or you're finished. There you are. We tried warming him up, but it went about as well as you'd expect. He wasn't particularly forthcoming. Perhaps you'll have better luck. Let's talk about Elob. What were you doing in Darth Null's fortress? Are you really not going to say anything? Give us some privacy. Are you certain? It's fine. I've got this. We'll leave you to it. Don't let your guard down. something you want. Maybe we'll cut a deal. If you start talking. Why are you so interested in a child of the Emperor? You are hopeless. What did you say? You're a fool. A witless, miserable wretch. And your desperate flailing against the inevitable is pathetic. You fail to see what was right before your eyes. Darth Null was no child of the Emperor. She was the first. The mother of them all. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor. She hunted the quarry. She broke them. Indoctrinated them. His power, his will, but her methods, her inventions, until the Emperor no longer found her useful. Why are you telling me this? Because it changes nothing. Keeping me here changes nothing. Do you think the secrets buried in that fortress will stay hidden forever? This is beyond your control. Everything my plan required to succeed has happened. My vision will come to pass. Nothing you do will stop this.
keep telling yourself that. You failed, Malgus. Whatever it is you started, I'm ending it. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor? That's... way worse. Malgus must have wanted to create something similar. An army of unwitting slaves. Isn't that what Sith do? Possess and enslave people to get what they want? That is often the case. But those that do usually meet violent ends. Although I'm certain Malgus expects such a fate. Did Malgus say anything else? He said that capturing him stopped nothing. That Null's secrets wouldn't stay hidden forever. Sounds like he was bluffing. Scourge and I spent years hunting down the last of the old Emperor's followers. And even we didn't find anything about Null. And since we became aware of her existence, no one in the Force Enclave has found anything. Non-existent records. A ruined fortress. The Emperor obviously got rid of Null and destroyed all of the evidence for good measure. Not everything, apparently. What do you mean? While you were questioning Malgus, Darth Rivik sent us these audio files. They were recovered from a datapad his team found after you left Elom. Expedition report. Day 4. Jedi Master, Delon Orr, Elom Recovery Team Leader. The more we examine the powerful device at the center of these ruins, the more concerned I become. There is a dark energy that radiates from it. One that I recognize all too well. I fear how being so close to it affects Sahar, but I must put my uneasiness aside for now. My focus must be finding and destroying the Holocron Null left here. All of her designs, her plans, could be within. I will not stop until I erase every last dark stain left by the children of the Emperor. I must rectify all that we have done. The children of the Emperor had a Jedi in their ranks? He wasn't the only one. Master Orr mentioned a holocron. I didn't see one at the recovery team's camp. Neither did I. Didn't see anything about a holocron in the artifact list the recovery team sent over. So we've got a missing Padawan and a missing holocron. Could be unrelated, but I stopped believing in coincidences a long time ago. We should focus on locating the holocron before someone else decides to use it. And there's no guarantee that it's in the possession of Master Orr's Padawan. We shouldn't commit to doing anything with the Holocron until we've studied it ourselves. There may be something on it that benefits us. There won't be. Any major decisions can be made once we actually locate Saha Kadeen or the Holocron. Fair enough. This has all been... a lot. I think I'll go meditate for a while. While we're on the subject of locating Darth Null's relics, I believe Arkan has an update on the investigation you tasked him with. The search has been... difficult. This world is even more unusual than Santa Ray could have prepared me for. But I found something. There are ruins here abandoned long ago. What is left of the walls are covered in strange markings that I do not recognize. I tried to go further inside, but an overwhelming force energy keeps me from entering. Whoever left this place did not want it disturbed. Without a closer look, it will be impossible to learn anything about what Darth Null left here. I'm sorry. I feel as though I failed you. Looks like a dead end. What do we do now? If Argon requires assistance, I am ready to offer it. I will go to these ruins and search them myself. I would appreciate any support that can be spared, but the final decision is yours. If you need help, then it's yours. Sana Ray will join you soon. Thank you. I will prepare for her arrival, and we will return to Odessa as soon as we know more. I will not fail you again. That was everything on the agenda.
I appreciate all of your hard work, but there's still so much left to do. Let's get back to it. Shate, you answered. Shay, you wouldn't be calling unless it was something big. Right you are. Been a long hunt, but I found the vermin's nest. It's on an old dirtball of a planet called Runic. Looks like the traitor got a lot more spineless parasites to rally around her than I planned for. I know my limits. I can't take her down alone. Too many fools standing between her and me. But if you help me cut through the trash, I'll make her face me. We can end this once and for all. It's time for Hedda Cole to pay. <laughs> <laughs> 